the first track event of the two days here in Split. It's the men's 400 meter hurdles, and you can see the stars and stripes all the way there in terms of the world record and competition record and stadium record. Well, this title has uh, been won by only two nations, many times by the USA. And they have a strong competitor here. Bershawn Jackson there in lane five is the world number one this year. The Olympic bronze medalist from 2008. He took the bronze last year as well at the World Championships. And he's been tremendously consistent throughout this year. He won't have it all his own way, though. Javier Coulson of Puerto Rico competing for the Americas team here is in very good form indeed. He took the silver medal last year at the World Championships. He goes in uh, lane one, does the uh, tall man for the Americas. One meter 98 he is. He's a six foot six, huge fella. Came third in Brussels last week to uh, Bershawn Jackson, who I've already mentioned, and Di Green, the uh, European champion, who also goes in this race. Eni Kechi of uh, France and competing for the European team here in lane two. Remember, two athletes for each continental team. Fourth in the Europeans, Kechi. Really has moved on in big strides this year, if you'll forgive the pun, although he looked a very tired man in Zagreb a couple of nights ago, well outside 50 seconds. LJ Van Zyl of South Africa goes in lane three. He too, a man struggling for form and with those Commonwealth Games just a month or so away, he really does need to move on. He was third in Zagreb in 50.29 three nights ago, but he's the reigning Commonwealth champion. He did win the African title a month or so back. So uh, there's some form in there somewhere. Indeed, he has run 48.5 this year, but in recent races, really struggling. In lane four, Takayuki Koike and third in the Japanese championships and uh, a 49 four man this year. He will struggle in this sort of company, although that's a super lane draw for him. He'll be chasing the world number one. And there he is, Bershawn Jackson, the smallest man in the field. He's just five foot eight. He's tiny compared with the majority of the men in this race. But uh, he won the Diamond League with a big victory in Brussels a week ago. It was a very comfortable win there, too, in 47.8. Very consistent, a tremendously strong finisher. He's so, so hard to beat, this little man. David Green of Great Britain, of course, the European champion for a month, month or so to go. He's got the Commonwealth Games coming up, and he too has had a wonderfully consistent season. Second in Brussels last week behind uh, Jackson, and indeed just ahead of Coulson. And that is the predicted one, two, three Jackson, Green, and Coulson in this race. But what a great job Malcolm Arnold has done with Di Green this year. Mabadou Kase Han of uh, Africa, he's a Senegalese athlete, this man, should be relatively fresh. He hasn't raced since the African Championships where he was third. And he's run 49.1 this year. Look for something a bit special from him perhaps in lane seven. And then completing the lineup on the outside there in lane eight, it's Brendan Cole of Australia for the Asia Pacific squad. Fifth in the Commonwealth Games uh, four years ago, but a very tired looking uh, seventh in Zagreb two nights ago. There have been 10 editions of the World Cup prior to this uh, Continental Cup, which is, sl is a slight change in format, maintaining or the Continental uh, format, but getting rid of any national teams. There used to be three national teams which could qualify for the uh, World Cup competition. But as I was saying, only two nations have ever had champions in this discipline, the USA and Zambia. Ed Moses winning the first uh, three editions in 1977, 79 and 81. And indeed, it is Ed Moses who holds the uh, championship record or the meeting record of 47.37. That's uh, marginally slower than Jackson has run this year, but it's a, a tough one to beat. But the USA, well, they can go to names like Dave Patrick, James Carter and Karen Clement as uh, former winners of this title. Just Samuel Matete has stopped their clean sweep with uh, three victories in 92, 94 and 98 for Africa. So the lineup again from the inside, Coulson in one, Ketchi in two, Van Zyl in three, then Koike four, Jackson there in five, Green in six, the European champion, Han in seven, Brendan Cole in lane eight. Well away without any trouble. Bershawn Jackson's gone off very quickly indeed in lane five already. Well up and Di Green, their centre of picture. My word, he's right up alongside and indeed past the European champion. Coulson too on the inside has gone off very quickly. The tall figure to write a picture in the headband. But Bershawn Jackson 
Yeah. Getting more steady now. Yeah. Di Green's picked yeah. things up a little bit. He's got a lot of running to do as the Briton, if he wants to get even close to the American. Jackson leading, surely, with Coulson probably in second place around the crown of the bend. 150 to run. Now, Di Green there for Europe and Great Britain in lane six. is a strong finisher in the blue, third from left. Jackson leads. Look at Coulson on the inside. Real battle here for second place. I don't think they're going to come back to Jackson. Or are they? Oh, it's a dreadful stuttering from Jackson there at the final barrier. And it's Green that's torn past him and Coulson gets second. And the American in third place. What a disaster for Jackson there at that final barrier. His stride pattern was all out. He stuttered like mad, really clattered it with his lead leg. Just managed to stay on his feet for goodness sake, and then lost many, many metres to Green, who's always been a strong finisher. The time, 47.90. That's a big new personal best for Di Green, and indeed it uh, puts him up there in the sub-48 second club for this year, of which there are only five members prior to uh, today. That's a fabulous performance from the Briton, and not only has he got a great time out of it, but he's beaten Jackson for the first time this season, Peter. Fantastic. I mean, Jackson's compiled a wonderful record this year, one eight out of 10. Ten races, only lost twice to Keron Clement. Let's look again at this race. It was a wonderful triumph for Di Green, who's getting very close to that British record set by Chris Akabusi. Coulson was always running well on the inside here. Jackson, of course, got away to a very fast start, hurdling very well indeed, and uh, will pick it up from that terrible mistake on the last hurdle. Here, there isn't, a, I suppose, Tim, a great deal to choose between Coulson on the inside and Jackson, pretty much together, but Jackson's got a couple of meters on Green at this point. Green ran a really Really nicely controlled race, didn't he? All round, and he's beginning just to perhaps gain a little bit on Jackson. Now here's Jackson coming to the finishing straight. Still ahead, opening up a lead indeed of Coulson, but here he comes to those final hurdles. At this stage, he's what? Still got three meters to spare on Green. Here comes Green finishing well, but there, really clobbers it, off balance. Through comes Green, finishing very strongly indeed. And Coulson, who lost his previous five races to Jackson this year, has beaten him this time. But what a star this man is. David Green of Great Britain. <laughs> that uh, just puts him ahead of David Henry, doesn't it, on the UK it does. rankings? Uh, it does. He was 100, there was second behind David Henry, I think number three on the UK all time, and now he's uh, second behind, of course, Chris Akabusi. But what a surprise in the first track event of the weekend, isn't it lovely? The unpredictability, that's what you want. You don't want to know who's going to win beforehand.